If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. Okay, we are here now introducing our dish for today. It's Laoi in Bisaya. In English, it's vegetable soup. I did prepare already all the ingredients of making lao oil for today's video. Okay, and dito na tayo. Nagbukal-bukal na ang atong tubig. Our water is boiling. Inilagay na natin ang ating sardinas na ating pampalasa sa ating lao oil. Sa Bisaya Subak. We have a simple procedures of our lao oil. Just water. Uh, timplahan natin ang tubig. Tapos let it boil. And then put uh, whatever you like to be na magkaroon ng panlasa ang iyong lao oil. Even uh, pwede rin ang isdang pinirito. At ito naman ngayon ang ating nilagay ay ang mga gulay. Lagay lang natin yan lang ang mga simple na pamamaraan. Yung matitigas na gulay, yun ang ating unahin. Tapos isunod na natin yung mga ma madali lang lumambot na gulay. The best gulay na lawoy is to half cook all the vegetables. Para ang lahat ng mga vitamins na nasa gulay ay hindi mawawala. Pag ino-overcook mo kasi ang gulay ay mag na yung mga enzyme na nasa gulay na makakabuti para sa iyong katawan. Medyo luto na yung mga matitigas na gulay. Uh, timplahan na natin siya para mai lagay na natin ang ating iba pang mga malalambot na gulay. Pakuloon muna natin para ma-absorb yung ating nilagay na panlasa doon sa gulay. Tikman natin ang lasa. Okay na siya. Uh, bagyang pakuluan at ilagay na natin ang iba pang malambot na gulay. Ayan, ang kalabasa ay half cook na malapit na pala siyang mag half cook. Kaya ilagay na natin ang ating iba pang gulay, ang talong at ang okra at ang sikwa. Wow, ang sarap na tingnan guys. So, ito ilagay na rat natin ang sitaw. Yan. Yang white circle na pagkahiwa guys, is yan ang sikwa. Yan ang nagpapabango sa ating gulay na lauoy. We are all done putting all the hard vegetable and the medium hard vegetable and let it boil again. And so after that, we can add the leafy green leafy vegetables. FYI, this is this is one of the favorite gulay of the Bisayan Filipino. It's the time now to have a look. Try some of the uh, veggie vegetable if it's done. Now it's time to, to put the green leafy vegetables and uh, uh, lemongrass which is tanglad in Bisaya. 
lemongrass we love to incorporate that in our various variant here in our country because of the aroma and lots of vinipids from the lemongrass it will give you the good circulation of the blood if you want to know more about the benefits of the lemongrass you can google it now our vegetable soup is already done it's time to put that in our table guys as you can see our table there is a dorian it is given to us by Geraldine Parkon, one of our team in Pinoy Rob YouTube channel in Davao City. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I am inviting you to please like, comment, share and subscribe and press the bell button for sa mga bagong kaganapan sa channel na ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panunood. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community.